Hey guys, this is Alex, and today I will be showing you how to install Mac OS 8 or Mac OS 9 on your modern Intel computer. So this allows you to run programs that you might have had a while back for Mac OS 8 or 9, and just for people like me who love running old operating systems, it also allows you to do that. So, for whatever reason that you're trying to do this, I'll, I will show you how. So, first up, we need to go to this website right here. And all these links will be down in the description, so you won't have to type them all out yourself. And so first, we need to go to this website right here and download a program called Sheep Shaver. And this program is an emulator that emulates a power PC computer so that you can run Mac OS 9. So think of it as like a, if you know what VMware or VirtualBox is, it's the VMware or VirtualBox for power PC. So, we need to go down and download this one right here. The To get started, always download this. We need to download this one. And so, we just click there, and sorry, my internet connection is its pretty slow out here. I'm out in my workshop, not in my house. So, it's going to be a little bit slow. But um, So, there is Sheep Shaver downloading. Next up, we're going to need a ROM for it. And a ROM is basically um, whenever you power up your computer and... It goes, you know, it shows like maybe Dell or that, that splash screen right there. That is um, your BIOS. That is basically your ROM booting up your computer and searching for an operating system. So we need to get a ROM from an old Mac in order for Sheep Shaver to work. And we need to um, put that in the folder with Sheep Shaver so that it'll have something to boot up to. So we need to download, if you're going to try and run like maybe Mac System 7 or maybe maybe Mac OS 8, you, um, you will want to download this old world ROM. But if you're running Mac OS 8 or Mac OS 9, download this one, which is the one I recommend. And it even says right here that it's best for Sheep Shaver. So this is the one I'm going to download. And so it's downloading. Next up, we're going to need to download the Mac OS 9 installer ISO image. So, of course, this is for if you're using Mac OS 9, um, which I would recommend over Mac OS 8. Mac OS 9 has more features and it's totally compatible with Mac OS 8. So, I would just get this one. And so, this link will be in the description as well. And you can download Mac OS 9.1 if you want. It says the ISO may be bad, so if I were you, I would stay away from that. Or you could download 9.2. But I found that the 9.2 ISOs don't ex don't really work too well. They throw errors. So I would go back here and download this Mac OS 9.0.4 ISO right here. And um, it's going to ask me to choose a mirror. I always choose the United States mirror because I'm in the United States. And now it is downloading. And there's one other thing we're going to need, and this is the GTK Plus runtime. This link will be in the description and I will show you why we need this in a moment once all, all my other files finish. So we want to download the top one right here and so SourceForge will begin the download and boom here it goes. And we want to keep the file and now I'm going to pause the video and I will be back when all these downloads are finished. Cut. Okay guys so as you can see all the downloads have finished now and now it's just time to extract all these files and run the installers and get everything set up. So, I'm going to go into my downloads folder. And so here is the Sheep, sheep Shaver itself. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to extract this to wherever we want, really. I normally go to my desktop just so it's easy to access. But you can extract this to wherever you want. So, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. I use Stuff It Expander, but you can use anything, the built-in Windows Extractor, whatever you want. So now that that is extracted, we can go in here and open the folder. And as you can see, it comes with two ROMs, but I've never been able to get those ROMs to work. So I normally just delete them and use the ones that we just downloaded because they tend to work. And if I were to try and start Sheep Shaver now, it always gives this error. It's kind of weird. I don't know why, but it tends to give this error. It, it goes away once you get the operating system installed, but it gives this at the beginning. And so you just click OK, and boom, it cannot open ROM file. It cannot find the ROM. So, you know, it can't open. So what we need to do is we need to go back to Downloads, and we need to extract our ROM to 
the sheep to sheep shaver on our desktop. And now the ROM is extracted. The ROM is this one right here, the New World 86. So now that it's extracted, we look over here and we have New World 86.rom. And SheepShaver is very particular about the way you name your ROMs. You have to, this it's case sensitive and everything, you have to name your ROM. You got, note, there can't be any extension, and it has to be Mac OS ROM. And the capitalization has to be exactly like this, or it will not work. And then it will say, it'll give you this warning about changing the file extension. We do want to change it, and now you should see it say file over here and Mac OS ROM here. So now, if we start up the GUI, we get this error. And the reason we get this error is because we are missing some libraries. And we click it a couple times, we get more errors. And so that is what the GTK that we downloaded is for. We need to install that runtime, which will satisfy all those requirements and make it be quiet about its errors. So we just need to go through the installer. We don't need to check any boxes. Just click next, next, next. And now it is installed. It's pretty quick. And now if we go over to Sheep Shaver and try and start the GUI, we get that error again, the annoying error. And then we get this. This is what old Macs looked like when they're searching for an operating system. A floppy disk with a flashing question mark, meaning it cannot find its operating system. And um, so we can fix that by showing it where our ISO is, the ISO that we downloaded. So. I'm going to have to go into Task Manager and um, end Sheep Shaver. That's the only way to get rid of it at this stage. So now I'm going to need to go back to Downloads. And here is our Mac OS 9.0.4. And um, we just need to extract this. It's a 7z file. So you're going to need some program that can extract 7-zip files. And we want to go Extract to. And you can extract it to your downloads and then move it over to your um, Sheep Shaver folder, or you can just go ahead and extract it to Sheep Shaver, which is what I normally do. So it's extracted. It'll take a little while, not very long. It's a pretty small file. Um, well, pretty small compared to some files. And so it's extracting, and now I just need to wait for this to complete. And we will have our ISO image. And now it's complete, so we can close that down. We don't need our downloads folder anymore. And here it is, Apple Mac OS 9.0.4. So we just need to take this um, Mac OS ISO. Um, we can leave it in this folder, but I'm kind of, a, I'm a grammar freak, and I just like everything being clean and perfect. So I just moved it out into this folder right here. I'm really into grammar being perfect and everything being perfect. So I did that. And now we need to go and configure the emulator. So we go into the Sheep Shaver GUI. Never use this until you've got Sheep Shaver fully configured or you will run into errors. So first up, we want to pick our CD-ROM drive, E. And um, so this will allow you to put a CD or DVD into your um, CD or DVD ROM drive, and you will get an error um, if you don't choose your drive. So um, and this and it will allow you to use your CD-ROM drive in Mac OS 9 or 8 or whatever you're installing. And then this box down here, this will allow you to access your Windows hard drives in Mac OS 8 or 9 or whatever you're using in the emulator. So I would recommend doing this because it will allow you to like download maybe a Mac OS 9 program in Windows and then move it on over to Mac OS 9 so you can run it because it's kinda hard to get internet set up in Mac OS 9. So I would check that. Check that box. And now up here we need to make a virtual hard drive for this Mac OS 9 installation. So we can click create and we pick a size right here. It, it's kind of up to you what the size is. I would recommend at least 500 megabytes, but I normally go with 1,000 megabytes or one gigabyte. So, and then I'm going to name the hard drive Mac OS 9. You can name it whatever you want, and then put the extension .hfv. Whoops, sorry, hfv on the end, and click OK. It'll take a few seconds to create the hard drive, and now it's created. So now it knows where to find its hard drive. But now we need to show it where to find our macOS installer ISO. So we click Add. 
and it's already conveniently set to look at my sheep shaver folder so we need to look for our ISO which is right there and click OK. So now it knows where to find both of those and it should boot from the ISO when we start it up. Now we need to go over to graphics slash sound. Video type, I would keep it on window because otherwise it takes up your whole screen and it's kind of annoying if you want to go back into windows or anything. The refresh rate, I would set to dynamic and width and height. That's up totally up to you, just your personal preference. But I like setting it to 1024 by 768. The keyboard and mouse, we don't need to change anything here. We don't need to change anything on our serial. We don't need to change anything under network. We do, this is pretty important right here. We need to change the size of the RAM. 16 megs isn't really enough to run Mac OS 9. Um, this emulator, I've noticed, you know, 32 is plenty for Mac OS 9. But this emulator, I've noticed in it that it just it just won't run. It it just crashes. So if you have 32 megs, and I've noticed the, uh, a number that's really stable, even though it's way too much, is 512 megabytes of RAM. So I'm going to put that in there. You don't need to do anything with the ROM file here, but you do need to click ignore illegal memory accesses. You do need to check that box. And you don't need to do anything under GIT compiler, and that's about it. So now we just click start and hope for the best. And it gives you that error again. Who cares? And then we get this. And um, as you can see, we get a little error. The system software on the startup disk only functions on the original media, not a copy to another drive. So obviously, we have copied it to another drive. Um, it's not on its original disk anymore, so I have to go in and end Sheep Shaver again. And the way we fix this error is we go and go, we go to Properties. We go to the um, ISO's properties and we check read only because the way that um, Mac, the Mac OS installer can detect whether you've copied it or not is the original installer DVD was read only so if it detects that your file isn't read only it won't let you install it so we check the read only box and we go to apply and OK and now if we start this thing up again it gives you the error and then Mac OS 9 is starting up without that error anymore. So we just need to let it load up. And um, a window is about to open right here that will um, be, it'll say install Mac OS 9. And we will be able to install it. So we just need to give it a second to load. Oh, and it, it also tells you this. It says that the disk is unreadable by the computer. Do you want to initialize it? It's talking about our hard drive. And so, yes, we do want to initialize it. We want to name it. I'm going to name it Mac OS 9 for obvious reasons. You can name it whatever you want, though. And the format needs to be Mac OS standard. And this number right here will be the size of your hard drive. So I made mine 1,000 megabytes, so it says 1,000. If you made yours 500, it would say 500. So now we just click Initialize, and it'll say it'll erase the disk, which is fine. So we click Continue. And now we have our Mac OS 9 disk. This um, this one is the hard drive. It doesn't have anything on it yet. This is the um, ISO image right here, the installer. So we need to click Mac OS 9 install. And the installer should start. And we go continue. We choose our destination disk, which is Mac OS 9, the disk that we just initialized. Then continue, continue. We agree to the license terms. We can go in here and customize our installation if we want to, but you don't really have to do that. You can just let it do all the recommended stuff, which is what I normally do. So now you just click start, and it's installing Mac OS 9, which takes a couple minutes, so I'm probably going to pause the video and come back when it is done. Okay guys, I'm back. So the install has now completed. And so it says the install process is finished. Click quit to leave the program and click continue to install other software. We don't want to install other software, so we click quit. And now we are in, We well, we need to restart the computer. And then we will be in Mac OS 9. So we go to special and then restart. And Mac OS 9 just rebooted. Now it has to load up again. It might take a little longer this time. And it's loading up. It takes a little while to show the desktop, but it's thinking. 
and we'll see how it goes. This is the default wallpaper here with all the little Happy Macs on it. And um, so now that it's loaded, we can close out the Mac OS 9 disk. And this is the Mac OS Setup Assistant. So we need to go through a couple steps to, you know, configure this Mac. So first step, we need to choose our region and format. So we want to go, since I live in the United States, I would click US. And my name, I'm going to type my name. and um, now company I don't have a company so I'm not going to type anything there now we're gonna click next again and are we currently observing daylight savings time yes we are and the time is 721 a.m. that is correct and today is August 20th which is also correct so now we need to choose our approximate geographic location this part's kind of annoying because you have to look through all these but I'm closest to Atlanta because I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, so I click Atlanta. Next, and we do not really want to use Simple Finder, so we choose No. And then this is network setup. So um, this stuff we kind of just go through it because we're not going to really end up connecting to a network. So um, sometimes it will freeze up right here, and sometimes it won't. Like in this case it looks like it may be freezing up so what you have to do in that situation is um, we have to go to task manager and um, end this thing because it's just not working and so now we, should, we can start it back up again now we can start it up we can um, go into the GUI and tell it to not look for that ISO anymore so remove it and um, then we get that error again and we go into Mac OS 9 since I had to force quit it, it's checking the hard drive um, now it won't um, detect that ISO and it won't pop up every time it starts up so now it's starting up again and we completed most of the setup there so um, it should just go to the desktop and be a normal Mac OS 9 computer so we'll have to see how that goes once it loads up alright and here it is all loaded up and so as you can see we are running Mac OS 9 and um, we have all our built-in programs and things here we um, sometimes the sound doesn't work on these things so um, sometimes you have to go in and check so I like going to speech and let's see if the voices work yes the voice doesn't work so sometimes you need to um, install additional software which um, will allow your um, sound to work so I may show you how to do that in, a, um, in another video because our sound is obviously not working at all so um, I'll show you how to do that in another video but if you click here on this PC you will have all of your um, drives from your Windows computer right here so here's my C drive and I can go in here and look through my C drive users Alex, desktop, here's all the stuff on my desktop, like, um, as a matter of fact, there's the Sheep Shaver folder that this is running out of, so you can, you can move files back and forth between the two computers, and things like that, so, that's pretty much it for this Mac right here, and so that is how you install Mac OS 8, or Mac OS 9, in Windows. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.